It's the NFL on EA Sports. And we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the Raiders and the Bulls next on Madden NFL 24. Night beginning to fall over Southern California, but the lights are shining bright here at the spectacular SoFi Stadium in Metropolitan Los Angeles. And tonight, we've got an AFC matchup in store for you, as it'll be the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the L.A. Chargers. Happy to be on hand. I'm Brandon Gordon with Charles Davis. And before we kick, partner, your keys to the game, please. Well, my keys are on the defensive side of the ball for both teams. And the big one, making sure you avoid giving up the big play. These safeties are going to get tested all game long. Their job, keep the ball in front of them, tackle people, make them run extra plays in order to try and score. Set for a start, it's Dicker the kicker. Cameron Dicker with a run up and off we go from SoFi Stadium. No run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. So here comes the Raider offense now onto the field. Bringing them out is the pocket passer from Purdue, rookie Aiden O'Connell. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment. Running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. O'Connell to throw right away. That's to the Notre Dame man, Michael Mayer. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. First rep of the game for Josh Jacobs. And Jacobs is going to have a Raiders first down as he'll be brought down at the 38-yard line. Brandon, you know that expression, he just does what he does? <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. Play action. Now Connell. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Off the play fake, here's O'Connell. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. And they go play action here with O'Connell. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. A gain of 32 that time. We expected this defense to be tested by this passing game coming into this one. And there's an example on this first possession of the game. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. And O'Connell now to throw. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And that might have been a situation where even though you don't hit on the deep throw, 
you at least put in the defenders' minds early in the game that we're going to press the ball deep against your secondary. And that can have a ripple effect on how they function throughout. Second and 10. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. Five yards, now it's third and five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Eighth play of this opening drive coming up. This is third down. To throw here, O'Connell. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That'll go as a pickup of eight. Well, no question, this is exactly how they wanted to start this football game. And nice pass there. Now they're set up beautifully, Charles, to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner. And that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. So we've seen many teams march it right to the goal line and not cash in. They've got something dialed up here that puts it in the end zone. Three yards is the gain that time, second and goal. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. They'll try and power it home here with a fullback Johnson. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Raiders put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. That was a really good opening drive on a number of fronts. Ten plays, very methodical, set the tone. So you know right now, if you're on the defensive side of the ball, you're on the sideline saying, okay, what do we have to dial up in order to get off the field a lot faster? Because both sides are out there for ten plays, but one side comes off energized, and the other side comes off with some questions. the touchdown ready to kick it away is Carlson well a good looking return set up here and all in all a pretty solid return nearly got it to the 35 they'll mark him down officially at the 34 here are the Chargers ready to go on offense led by their first round pick in 2020 the man out of Oregon Justin Herbert and he is just absolutely marvelous to watch throw a football that's something I could do all day long watch him throw routes versus air but he's even more impressive when there are bodies on the field and he's creating with big throws downfield Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at the 34 they'll try and start this drive in the air and his throw is going to be incomplete Yes, sir. How about an outer boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Now a second and ten. Here's the first carry for Austin Eckler. And he'll get about two there to the 36. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. And they'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. I uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. DeAndre Carter back deep. Fair catch called for and made at the 16 or maybe the 17-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it'll be Raiders football first and 10. Yeah. 
They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. Nothing too fancy, just a carry up the middle, but a successful carry up the middle against this 3-4 defense. And to be able to do that, what do you have to control? The nose guard, right? Got to be able to move him, otherwise you're not getting anything up the middle. Nice job by the center. Got a little help from one of his friends playing guard. Room for Jacobs there on first down as he takes this one forward for a pickup of about seven. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. On second down, Jacobs. And this is going to be a Raiders first down as good running gets him to about the 44. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. On first and 10, it's O'Connell. That's caught by Myers. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. And the play goes for 19 yards, gives him a new set of downs. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice game for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. First down throw, O'Connell. That's to the veteran tight end, Austin Hooper. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Second down and three. Off the play fake, O'Connell. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. It's pretty early in the game, but they've already tried to establish him not just as a runner, but as a receiver as well. Didn't happen there, but I wouldn't be surprised at all to see them try again shortly. Caught on the right side by Adams. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game, but it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. you got to go up and make the tackle right away. Carlson able to put this one through. So another scoring drive there, Charles, in an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they moved the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. So after the made field goal, 10-0 here early as the kick's away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. They'll look to get something started. They need to down 10-0 early as they've got it first and 10. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And they're able to get this one across the 35. They went three and out on their first drive. Things already looking better here, first and 10.
10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. Charger football to start quarter number two. So from the 36 now, first and 10, as they've got it as we resume action. First down, and they stick with Eckler. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second and a yard. Once more, here's Eckler. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Running on first down, Eckler. And this will be taken across midfield and into Raider territory. Divine Diablo there to make the stop. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. And looked like some movement there. Let's get the call. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. The false start penalty, and now they're back to needing 10 yards on second down. They'll try the air now with Herbert. Throw left side is hauled in by Palmer. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders 43. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. And this may be the one to build on right here. It's the second quarter. They've got nothing on the scoreboard as of yet. They need to put something together, and this is a good start as they get the completion there for good yardage and a first down. Play action. It's Herbert. A little short pass. This is Everett. So just three yards on the completion there, and it'll be second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Ball on the 39. Here's a second and seven. They go back to the ground now with Eckler. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you. And sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. Here's Herbert. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. The Raider defense strong on that one in coverage. And now it's fourth. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. The fourth down play doesn't work for the Chargers. And the Raider D, they get the football back. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. A good starting spot for the Raiders as they come up first and 10 at their own 37. Now O'Connell. A short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll make it second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Now second and three.
Here's Jacobs from the gun. If they're going to get a first down out of this, they're going to have to earn it because there's been tough going in the interior there. And here we are on third and one. Be prepared. Brace yourself. There'll be some contact going on. The Raiders on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Try to run for it with Jacobs. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. 53 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's O'Connell looking to throw it. The open man here, Renfro. And that's good for a gain of six. And that will bring up second down. Fakes the handoff. Now O'Connell to throw. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. Here they are stop him but he does take it all the way to the two that one goes for 30 yards this offense is looking very comfortable here in this first half very relaxed very smooth very efficient no wasted motions things are definitely going their way and they continue to move the ball downfield Jacobs will cross the line. He's in. Touchdown, Raiders. But just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in, have to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Carlson on for the PAT. He's got it, and it's 17-0. A drive that time of six plays, and it was capped off by a touchdown run from Josh Jacobs. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. don't want to. Well, no, but you know, oh, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's, that's not a good combination. I think, you just you called it I think you just called it desperation time. I, I think did. you did. But yeah. let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating, to use a boxing analogy. Give them 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give them a first down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. He finds his man complete. That's Bowers. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Herbert now. 
On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Here's second and ten. Back to throw here, Herbert. He finds his man complete. It's Bowers. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 16. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Herbert operating from the red zone. Touchdown! Quentin Johnston. A 16-yard touchdown. And the Chargers get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yep. of a half, headed into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum. Take that good feeling and take the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed. A lot of football, full half to be played. Extra point up and good by Dicker, and that'll cut the lead to 17 7. Now, after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. DeAndre Carter returning it, fielded just outside the goal line, and makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Time again to see Josh Jacobs and this Vegas offense operate. And it may just be the second quarter, but he's in his zone, well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books, but it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that the means he's getting plenty of blocking, a lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Yeah, he's made the most of it to this point. O'Connell looking to throw on first. He'll swing that out wide to Jacobs. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Well, this time, they'll just keep this on the ground. Taking it right down Broadway. He may go. And he's in for the touchdown. How did they get that done? That's a pretty quick response to that last touchdown drive. It seemed like they had maybe given up momentum. But not so fast. No, not at all, because they end up pushing the lead up once again. And you're exactly right. Thought momentum might have been shifting. Instead, they grabbed old Mo, didn't let him get to the opposite sideline. Carlson now to add the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Raiders out in front. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome, everyone, to our Creative Village studios in the EA Sports halftime report. We just watched a solid first half from the 2022 rushing champ, Josh Jacobs. He's over 100 yards rushing for the game already and found the end zone twice as well. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three.
The Chargers going to get the football first here in the second half, and they trail as we get back underway. From his end zone, here's Darius Davis. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. More from L.A. in a moment. The Charger drive about to get going. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball to the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a level shy of the first down marker. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. The defense did its job of taking away a quick throw, but that's only half the battle because they've got to get to him before he can make a run for it. A little bit late containing him there, so he makes a nice gain out of a play that looked like it was in trouble. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler, and he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. He needed a yard, that's exactly what he got. Earns him a new set of downs. We ought to come up with a t-shirt and sell it that says, no indecision on third and one. And we didn't see it on that run, did we? Got his shoulder square, just got right into the line of scrimmage and picked it up. Absolutely, picked his lane, went with it, and converted. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. Pass out left finds Johnston. And he's gonna get this down to the 35-yard line. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football, and right now I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 35-yard line. Justin Herbert looking to pass. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Eckler now between the tackles. And some room to work. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. 55 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. This has been a good drive so far, and it's been the running game for the most part that's powered him down there. Another nice burst there, picking up a first down. Now it's first and 10, as you said, in the red zone. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. It's Eckler again. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. They went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? On second down, Eckler. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. And the Raiders call on a nickel set for third down. Now it's Herbert. And this will be caught in the end zone for a Chargers touchdown. Josh Palmer, 
A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Chargers are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. That's a score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And the lead down to 10, 24-14. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. You can say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime, then sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 15 yards is the pickup there and the drive starting very nicely. First down. He continues to have a big night here under the lights carrying the football. And some guys prefer night games. For whatever reason, their bodies react a certain way. They love the spotlight. Maybe that's what it is. The best seats in the house, the ones where he's carrying the football for his offensive teammates, the worst seats, the 11 guys trying to tackle him on defense. Able to break through that initial contact and winds up getting about three there. It's second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Throwing on second down. Here's O'Connell. Short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That one will go as a gain of 11. Raiders having a first down as well. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. 153 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. O'Connell on first and 10. A quick throw there is incomplete. So it looks like they stopped some fighting them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. Third quarter now from SoFi Stadium. Here's a second and 10. Now a give to Jacobs running right. And he only manages a couple here down to about the 38-yard line. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Seventh play of the drive, fourth coming on third and eight. They will run the draw with Jacobs. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard.
It's a 47-yard field goal try from here, but instead they're going to opt to go for it on fourth down. They'll go for it. O'Connell. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Raiders try it on fourth down, but to no avail. And the Charger defense stands tall, and they get the football back. And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs. You know, I've seen, I've, you know, you and I have both been to practices where we've seen, hey, third down situation, big third down alert, lock in here, fourth down play, make sure you focus just a little bit extra. It didn't pay off in that situation. On first and 10, Herbert. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. They'll try the right side with Eckler. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage to be found. From the gun, Herbert on third down. And he's going to lose yardage here as they will switch ends as time has run out on this third quarter of play. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. It's Charger football, but they trail here as we get going in quarter number four. Here's J.K. Scott now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. On the return, Carter. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away yeah i think here's the situation you're not thinking touchdowns anymore you're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there playing keep away first downs they can't touch the ball good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at the 45. out of the shotgun here's o'connell throw left side taken in by renfro and he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because, to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. Oh, nice move. <laughs> and past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Boy, 175 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Ball on the 30 now. Here's a second down and nine. And O'Connell now to throw. A short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 19. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. The coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah, but when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. 
He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. But looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackle him for a loss. A quick throw out to Adams on the perimeter. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it makes it third down and two yards to go. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. O'Connell to throw, third and short. And he's going to be dropped back at the 15-yard line. Now we get a stoppage because a member of the Raiders shaken up on that one. More from L.A. in a moment. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. That's just 32 yards officially from the right hash. The kick by Carlson is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So that maybe not a knockout blow, but I, I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist, but time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game, is in their favor. After the made field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. So out come the Chargers. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series. But what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here, first and 10 at their own 22. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. The throw over the middle, taken in. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 17 yards for the Chargers there as they've got themselves a first down. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple of scores. And they've really got to get some yards in chunks. And they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Those short little routes probably going to be open. The defense, they'll let those happen, especially when they can make an inbounds tackle. Yeah, where's Coach Madden when you need him? He always talked about taking what the defense gives you, but sometimes you have to know when you have to take more. That was one of those situations. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Give it big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. The offense on third down tonight, two for five to this point. This time they face a third and two. Up the middle with Eckler. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. Well, look at the clock. You're down two scores. Have to go for this, don't you? And they thought that as soon as they took over possession. It didn't matter where they were on the field. They were always going to be in four-down territory. Backed up in good situation. It didn't matter. So they've been preparing for that on their play sheet the entire time. 
The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Good yardage on the completion there, and when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. That's going to be caught. It's Palmer. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 25-yard line. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. On first down, it's Herbert. That's again complete to Palmer. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. Herbert on first down now. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. Here's third down at five. Herbert. This is caught. And the Chargers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Back of the end zone, could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens in bounds. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah, yeah. yeah, you know. Doesn't feel right. Exactly. and 90 seconds to go. This will be an onside kick. And the hands team for the Raiders able to secure it. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that when they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it, but even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. 
And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Taken down at the 47-yard line. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. Now O'Connell. Complete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Here's A.J. Cole now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. Herbert and the Chargers down 27-21, 70 seconds remaining. They need a touchdown. A field goal is worthless now as they come up on first and 10. He's got Eckler, and he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. Here comes second down at five. Throwing Herbert. That's caught by Palmer, and he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. Herbert to throw. Throws left side, complete to Keenan Allen. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and we watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Herbert going to throw. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Some coaches like to take the shorter, more reliable yardage, and some, they like to go for the big shot. No fear in risking a deep ball there, but it wasn't enough to get him the completion. They'll try again here, second and ten. Herbert. He'll drop this one off to Eckler. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Let's go do this thing, baby. Let's go. Show what you got. Keep our boys. Let's go, baby. Boy, here's a big one. You can just feel it. This is third down now. One last throw here for Herbert. Football game. Well, that's the one they had to have. Put them in a position.
position where they're tied up, but I got to get out of the way. We still got an extra point that's pretty crucial. That's right. Just one more element to complete the victory. No time on the clock. This to claim victory. And his kick is good. And cool as you like it, he pushes it through. And this game is over. Well, this was a game we'll have in the memory banks for a while. The winning touchdown at the end, and then they had to get that extra point. You know, the knees were shaking. But he put it through, and boom, a dramatic victory. And just remember, prior to 2015, that extra point almost felt routine, didn't it? Like it was a fait accompli. But when we moved it back,